Hi everyone, Ksenia Mea-Bragilovsky, January 25th. Uh, this is a short episode on porn and sex and sexual preferences as I perceive them in Canada, all right? So um, I've been watching porn at some point in my life because, well, I had problems in my marriage. My ex-spouse was um, not aligned with me in his sexual preferences. He is an XXY, and so partially his preferences are more quirky and, uh, uh, so to speak, uh, require less emotional connection and more um, physical satisfaction, like uh, blue jobs or quickies or up the asses or something like that, which didn't quite suit me. So I started watching porn online in Canada on worldsex. I believe that's the site. Uh, there is a wide selection of videos. Uh, some are nearly criminal, and I suspect they are truly criminal in uh, uh, actuality. Some episodes are cut out, and you can see when and how it's cut out and what's happening between the cutouts. Anyway, there are big T's, big Jags, interracial, uh, LGBTQ, and so, and so on and so forth. Because it was my second relationship, really, and I've uh, had very minimal exposure to um, relationships and sex acts in the past, I decided to check it out, which suited me uh, fine because I didn't want to bother anyone. I didn't want to infringe on anyone while exploring my own sexuality. My husband didn't completely... Uh, satisfy me in that uh, respect, and so I decided to look it up, all right? So, uh, needless to say, local wire, uh, York Regional Police and RCMP and my neighbors, whoever was watching me, was very concerned about what kind of uh, content I'm uh, watching online, whether it's uh, uh, more than average or less than average, whether my sexual needs... So, needless to say that uh, somehow everyone got concerned over my uh, uh, viewing history, so to speak, and uh, everything else from there on um, trickled into me sitting here in detention. Uh, my bank closed the accounts while parading half-naked girls in front of me and uh, throwing all sorts of hints, okay? So what I'm trying to say is that you folks coming here from Europe, from Russia, from Ukraine with beautiful girls, uh, local uh, guys and girls will hate you. They will just fucking kill you. They will uh, spur your veins and uh, uh, burn you uh, uh, alive in front of everyone uh, because um, folks here are uh, uh, very finicky about healthcare and uh, or potentially what you want from them because you're coming from underprivileged background. You are most likely going to be underpaid, you're most likely going to be victimized by everyone. Uh, watch out who's your insurance broker, watch out uh, who's your cell phone provider, watch out who are your friends, your neighbors, watch out what kind of cables are running through your house, who sold the property to you, etc, etc, etc. Because you folks come in here from uh, uh, foreign countries, unless you have established uh, families here and uh, sort of uh, a legit connection. I was lured into Canada, okay, and uh, while being so, uh, socially connected and networked throughout the Russian Jewish uh, uh, social circles, which didn't quite uh, sit right with me because, um, I mean, I didn't have anything in common with the folks that I was going camping and uh, doing the, you know, ca canoeing trips, etc., etc. Having said that, um, again, my exposure to a uh, romantic relationship was minimal. I had one boyfriend at 19 and a half, um, back from where I came from, from Uzbekistan, or so to speak, Uzbekistan. I was born in the USSR, I'm Slavic. Anyway, so uh, everyone fitted me, everyone judged me, everyone prejudiced me. I was uh, uh, circled around and consistently placed into ghetto work placements. Um, everyone, everyone, everyone I dealt with uh, was viewing what I was viewing, what I was searching for. And so uh, somehow my uh, dissatisfaction with my marriage and inability to 
uh, resolve it speedily because I didn't have uh, parental support um, and my online communications were tampered with so when I was reaching out to counseling services. All right. So everything was kind of turned against me. I was given this, uh, so to speak, education so that I can open my own business. And I assume uh, I didn't go with the business because I knew that I would be set up. Uh, right. So there are uh, work placements that I was put into with um, hints and salacious remarks and with uh, people who are looking for relationships right, rather than for work. So what I'm saying is that um, local Canadian white public were thinking of themselves as, uh, you know, by Jesus Christ, they are the elites, they are the owners of this land, and so they have the right, divine right, to enslave everyone, and regardless of, uh, you know, what, how, and why, just by birthright, so to speak, okay? And that's how I was for 16 years in Canada. I was enslaved in a marriage that essentially translated into environmental racism because the, uh, my ex-spouse is an ex-ex-wife with, uh, I believe he is uh, slightly on the spectrum because his sexual preferences and remarks are slightly off um, so and not of an average male, okay? Um, or so I perceived. And so, and he was uh, living in the zone, um, the immediate zone of uh, Chernobyl environmental disaster. So that's how I came to Canada. And why all of that, why I was put through all of the shit, why I was enslaved, ethnically cleansed, uh, subjected to environmental racism, subjected to uh, uh, ha sexual harassment, subjected to police uh, uh, authorities, uh, excessive force and violations of my uh, well-being. I was put into uh, involuntary detention in my house. My bank uh, uh, just threw me out and the state closed all of my accounts. So I'm saying I'm being violated only because I came here, as I recently learned, because my mother and her spouse had some uh, health care concerns and they were, uh, I believe, um, in, infected with the sexually transmitted disease. At that time, when I was undergoing medical examination to enter Canada, no one disclosed this to me, okay? No one said nothing. All of my healthcare providers said nothing to me. Everyone was hunky-dory with me, a uh, white female, Slavic. I am tall, like, look at me. I am tall. I am uh, five eight and a half, almost five nine. Um, heavy build, not like fat, but I am... Uh, heavier than average okay so i was everyone was fine with me being in this marriage everyone was viewing uh, me watching porn online and uh, going uh, out with alex and how he was buying uh, uh, insulting gifts to me so to speak everyone was fine everyone was watching the fact that i was uh, 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 lured kidnapped and trafficked into canada without knowing uh, sufficient English to communicate or to protect my rights and uh, liberties, nor did I have uh, any choice uh, whatsoever into where to go and how to go, having been abandoned by my biological father, having been subjected to uh, ongoing sexual and psychological abuse uh, back home by the hands of my uh, former and first boyfriend, and Canada knew all about it. Canada set it all up, brought me in here as a slut, as a slut, through petty change ad, and now they're perpetuating all of that, perpetuating the harassment, uh, re-victimizing me on and on and on, day in and day out. I have no idea what's going on. I don't have, like, my mother is completely dependent on her current spouse. He is not my biological uh, spouse. I don't know who gave whom what disease. I have no idea. I have no idea to what extent I was victimized uh, health-wise at the time when I was entering Canada. And uh, to what degree, I suspect to a high degree, that was the factor in uh, the pattern of social engineering I was subjected to.
Okay, so there's ghetto placements, uh, low pay uh, jobs, uh, labor law violations, unlawful uh, layoffs slash fire offs, uh, sexual harassment, etc., etc., etc. My insurance broker for years is a setup just to see what kind of insurance. Uh, whatever um, claims I would make. What claims? Nothing is happening, so nothing is happening. Aside from, thank you very much, everyone who is controlling the weather in Woodbridge, Ontario, or slash Vaughan, Ontario, for throwing the, the rains and the tornadoes, just to see how I, I would behave. Thank you very much for setting me up with the house that is uh, surveilled from all angles and from everywhere. So thank you for this impersonation uh, manipulation and harassment and abuse of powers on a large scale by everyone uh, targeted against me. I have nothing against the Google ads displaying Ukrainian, Russian, Slavic girls in all kind of poses. You Canadian guys can only dream about girls like that, okay? Um, whether they are slaps or not, it's a factor or uh, uh, how would I, it's a function of their environment, okay? And you all know that most of the white males are taken out, were taken out in World War One, World War II uh, by alcoholism and uh, drug use, okay? You know that most of the Slavic females are uh, barely surviving, barely surviving. And so the only option for them in their mind is to breed or to find uh, a partner and it happens so that they are mo most of them are naturally beautiful and you can only dream about girls like that you know and so you can go fuck yourselves whoever brought me here to marry off to i don't know some hairy uh, black dudes I mean, Middle Eastern, Oriental, uh, all of those uh, to ethnically cleanse me just because I had no choice of where to be born. Okay. And so I was born in USSR and uh, my father is uh, Russian Ukrainian. My mother is 25% Ashkenazi Jew and the rest is uh, Ukrainian, Russian, whatever, Slavic too. Um, so thank you for the attempts on my life, thank you for the attempts on my dignity, thank you for the attempts on my well-being, psychological and physical, thank you for any cleansing, for genocide, for environmental racism, thank you for giving me the opportunity to study so that I can open my business, so that you can fuck me up with the insurance, with the housing, with the clients, with the co-workers, with the recruiters, with everything. Say it out loud that you had zero benevolence towards me, zero goodwill towards me, right from the get-go. You wanted to bring me in to marry off to some, I don't know, whoever doesn't look like me. Okay, so this is just a short episode on sexual preferences and manipulative tactics deployed by uh, Canada towards underprivileged, uh, socioeconomically deprived females coming from post-Soviet countries.